I was raised on the east coast of Florida in a very close-knit family. Although I was not raised in a Christian home, my mother and father took marriage and family values to heart and taught us integrity and a very strong worth ethic. I was raised Catholic until I was 16 when my dad got saved and gave his life to Jesus. He instantly fell in love with Jesus and began to share the gospel with my mom, myself, and other family members and led most of them to the Lord. Although I was not quite ready to hear all that at that point in my life, he did plant seeds that would later be watered and harvested. He prayed for my salvation daily from that day forward. Soon after my other family members became Christians, I moved to Tampa to attend USF, where I met my wife and started dating Jerry. After a few months of dating, we realized we were getting serious and started talking about the future and possibly marriage. She told me although she was in love with me, she would not marry a guy that was not a Christian. Needless to say, I asked what I had to do. She had, we had several conversations and she gave me a Bible and we started going to church together. And she gave me a track called Four Spiritual Laws. So one day while I was alone in my apartment, I read the track and said the sinner's prayer. Shortly after that, I invited my dad to come to Tampa where we attended a men's promise keepers conference together in 1995. I stood publicly to show that I recently had accepted Christ into my life. Jerry and I got married a few months after that, and I continued to slowly grow as a Christian over the next few years. In 2004, our previous church challenged us to do a Bible study called The Purpose Driven Life. I did, and it changed my life even more so as I surrendered more of my life to the Lordship of Jesus. Ever since then, I've been learning about Christ and growing closer to Him. In February 2008, I took my first mission trip to Cuba. During that trip, and many more to follow, the Lord started showing me that He wants us all to share the greatest story ever told, the Gospel. I am an intro introvert at heart, although my wife would say I'm not. Uh, so sharing the Gospel with someone I didn't even know was quite intimidating. Each time, I get a little bit more comfortable, and now I can't wait to go back again. Every trip to Cuba gets me energized again to share the Gospel in the States, as I do there. I still continue to work at trying to be an everyday gospel sharing Christian instead of just a once a week Sunday Christian. That's my heart. I try to raise my family in the fear and ammunition of the Lord and use the Bible as my guideline. Jerry and I have now been married for 24 years and our greatest joy is that our four beautiful children have all trusted Jesus for their salvation and are walking with him. And that's my story.